Hi and welcome to another Memories Made video. I'm Designer Jen Gallagher and today we're going to use a fun pink, black and yellow combination with hints of mint in it to create a layout about my daughter and my husband. So we're going to start with this beautiful piece of paper from Fancy Pants. It is got yellow and white numbers on one side and then it has a solid blue on the back. It's thinner and it has a texture to it, which is fun. I'm going to incorporate some of this paper from the Prism Collection from Basic Gray. And it's a six by six paper pad, so the pattern is scaled down just a little bit. And we're going to start this at the top of the layout. And then to the bottom of the layout from the six by six paper pad from the same collection from Fancy Pants, we're going to use this pink and white Swiss cross pattern paper. this just below the other pink pattern paper and that's going to visually fill up most of our page. I'm going to be using several die cut shapes today. These are all manual die cut shapes. The first is a heart shape. It is also cut from the same 6x6 paper pad as this. If you are interested in any of the supplies used in this video be sure to visit the description below. I chose the largest heart that I could find. There are concentric heart shapes that you can get from places like Spellbinders or Sizzix, or if you have a digital die cut machine, you can also use that as well. I'm going to take kind of a medium sized doily and I want to place it kind of on the right bottom corner of the heart. This will add just a little bit of texture to this project. Once I have that down, we can go ahead and attach the heart also hand cut the heart just like you did when you were in kindergarten when you were a child. I'm going to use a photo of my husband and my daughter and you can see it's black and white and it's been pre-cut to fit inside this square and because this particular frame which is from Heidi Swab has a smooth white surface I can just use my glue dot runner. We'll do a little bit of layering. These particular pieces are also from the Fancy Pants collection and they're just ephemera pieces that you can layer and use. One of them is a tab. So we'll go ahead and place the craft piece down first. And then above that I'll place this if found please return to owner. Place that slightly on top. We'll place this green mint circle that says this book belongs to right above so all you can see is the mint and now we can place the photo down. Now you can see I'm going to cover and I'll show you close up but I'm covering part of that tag that says please return to owner so it just says if found please return and then I'll add this yellow tab piece to bring some of that yellow back up to the top and then we'll take this small little noted piece and add that to the returned. So just create some layering with different ephemera pieces you have laying around. But you can see that I covered the word so it just says if found please return. Alright, to the bottom of the page I want to show you a technique that I used. If you are familiar with Microsoft Word, they do have text boxes. And I created a black text box and then I did white text. And I've done a few tutorials on this before, but do some research on how to do this. But this is a fun, different way to do your journaling. This allows the eye to see this big, bold, black element on my page, which kind of matches that black and that heart at the top. Below that I have a piece from the 6x6 Fancy Pants paper pad. I've cut it into a scallop edge and it is that mint color. You notice that I didn't even cut off that paper strip at the top. It's just a way not to waste paper. And then we'll just center the scallop behind my black journaling. I'm going to take another doily, same size. You could do different size doilies, different colors of doilies. And I'm going to lift up that journaling just a smidge. On top of that, I'm going to use another manual die cut. This is another concentric 
shape that you can use for, through either a manual die cut machine or a digital die cut machine, but again, it's a pink circle. This one happens to be from Spellbinders, and I love it. I use it all the time. And again, we're just going to kind of fill in that circle right behind the journaling. Then we're going to take a couple more frames. This particular frame is from Crate Paper. It's their poolside collection. It says Good Times. It's a thin chipboard frame, so I'm just going to use my dot adhesive runner. And then I want to center my husband's photo right in the middle of there. If any part of it is sticking out, you can readjust the photo or you can trim off the extra. Then to the smaller photo, this is a Heidi Swap. Again, smooth surface on the back, so we can use our dot adhesive runner. And this particular adhesive is from American Crafts. And you'll notice that in the main photo, I have the two of them together. And in these additional photos, they're separate. This is one way to draw attention to the story, is to focus on one particular picture. We're going to left align the two frame and the journaling and then above the and I'm going to add a glue dot I think it'll stick a little better then we're going to add the small black frame and we'll slightly overlap and I did use glue dots to attach this I don't want it going anywhere above that I'm going to take two little pieces these are also manual die cut pieces these particular ones are older ones from Stampin Up but lots of different companies have leaf sprays. Just simply look up leaves when you're searching in the store that you want to purchase them from. I'm going to take an extra piece of cardstock and just gently use my dot runner. You could also use a glue pen. And we'll just create, I like doing at least two sprays, if not three, depending on how thick the actual spray is. This just gives it a little bit more dimension. And I use this a lot on my pages. It's kind of a signature of mine. And I want to offset them a little bit so that they fill up more of that visual space. Speaking of filling up visual space, rather, we're going to take two pennants that are actually a pennant punch. You can see it's from EK Success. It's a great little punch. But you could also create these by hand with a strip of paper and then pinking the edges with just a pair of scissors. We'll just fill in this space a little bit with both the mint as well as this particular pattern paper, which is more of a grid and kind of a darker shade of that mint green. So you can see I'm just filling in some of the spaces. Above the journaling, I'm going to add another little ephemera piece that says from the library of. We just want enough of it to show up. And then to add the title, I'm going to use a foam sticker. I want to make sure that none of my journaling is obscured. So I'll play around with it a little bit until I get it how I want. And I won't press it down all the way until I get both pieces exactly where I want them. So once I get them down, then I can... The nice thing about these foam pieces is they can be pulled and manipulated to get whatever shape you want. You could even curve it if you wanted to. And I'm going to overlap the two of those like that. Then I'm going to bring in a flare badge piece. This was from the Fancy Pants and I'm going to slightly overlap that title. And then we'll use some enamel dots. The first are from Bella Boulevard and they are in a white. I just want to bring some dots here at the top. And then rather than just do one color, I'm going to use this bundle of joy enamel dots from Echo Park Paper. And I'm going to use the pink. And then we'll do the same thing down here. We'll just add a couple of different dots. We'll finish off with a few pieces. This particular chipboard heart sticker is from a Pink Paisley collection. 
we'll overlap the two. We'll just fill in the space and then another one that says talented we'll place across the top of our journaling block and then because there is so much ink down on this journaling block it's kind of curling up so to fix that we're going to take some washi tape it is a pink diagonal stripe it has a cream background but you could use whatever color matches your project and we'll just go ahead and tape that journaling piece right to the bottom of the layout. That will help it stick down a little bit. Tuck the rest underneath. And then finally, just because I think it needs something pink, we'll add a couple of pink dots to the flare badge. You can go ahead and layer things. Here you have a layout that uses a modern color scheme to tell the story of the relationship between my husband and my daughter. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of these videos. If you're interested in learning more about the creations that I make, be sure to visit my website at www.jengallagher.com.